What does this mean for the overall economy? Steve Forbes was co-chair of my presidential campaign and the only man I actually know who people actually nominated <laughs> to be Secretary of the Treasury. They did it several times at town hall meetings. They would stand up and try to put his name in nomination for Secretary of the Treasury. And maybe it's because he explains the economy to us in simple ways that we can understand. Steve, thanks for coming on tonight. Good to be with you, Mayor. And I hope um, those mentions of the name didn't uh, hurt your candidacy too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they didn't. Steve, so, uh, wh what do you think? What do you think of the state of the economy overall? And then we'll get into some specifics. Uh, this is, uh, I think, really going back in time. This reminds me of the 1970s when there are similar explanations. What's happening? Greedy oil companies, tankers being parked offshore. What's happening here is the Federal Reserve has printed too much money. It's the equivalent, talking about fuel, of flooding the engine, putting too much fuel in the engine. You're going to have a stall. What the Fed has done here, print too much money, the dollar value goes down. Right. Price of oil goes up. We've been, we've seen this movie before, and amazingly, the Bush administration and the Fed is repeating it. So you see this as a, largely a function of monetary policy. Monetary and, policy, and and, if, and uh, how 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 would you address it? Well, first the if president. If he was secretary of the treasury or president. <laughs> well, I'd have you as president, but no. Uh, the, the president should announce that we're going to have a strong dollar policy, not just say we'd like one, say we're going to do it. We're going to have the G7 right. cooperate, go in the exchange markets, buy the dollar. The Federal Reserve announces they're going to soak up some of that excess money it created. And then the Fed can say, we showed with Bear Stearns that we can deal with particular problems with the financial system. It's not going to seize up. But Helicopter Ben is going to, can say, we don't have to throw money out of a helicopter anymore. We're going to soak it right. up. The dollar will rally. And by golly, you'll see stocks rally as well. Uh, Congress uh, <clears throat> seems to be very intrigued with you know, the profits that uh, the oil companies are making. So they it seems always to me, do. It seems to me there's uh, like three choices, right? There's going to possibly be an excess profits tax. They're going to tax uh, gas at the pump or they're going to let the free market do what the free market should do. Well, what do you think is going to happen, and what do you think should happen? Well, thankfully, I think there'll be a stalemate, so uh, they'll uh, talk about a profits tax, but it's not going to pass. Right. Jimmy Carter did that in the late 1970s. Right. We got less expiration, and we ended up with higher prices. This does not work. Again, we've seen this movie before. Right. Now, John McCain, I think it was last week, came out with this simpler, fairer tax, a way of trying to simplify the tax form and get it down to flatter rates. What did you think of it? And, what are, and, you know, you've fought this battle for a long time. What are the chances of this actually, of this actually happening? Well, I think it's an excellent proposal, and I hope he makes it a centerpiece in the fall campaign, giving you a choice. If you want to stay with the old system, right. you can. If you want to go to the new one, you made a similar proposal, you can. Based on your advice. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, I think it's a, an election winner. And I think if he advocates it uh, fiercely enough, I think even though the Democrats may retain control of Congress, there will be a constituency, enough of a constituency, to get that kind of reform through. Do you see, do you see a difference in the Obama Clinton approach to the economy? Can you, uh, can you, do you see a difference in McCain running against either one of them? Is it going to essentially be the same differences about whether you raise or lower taxes? What do you do about spending? Yeah, you know, when you look at the Democrats, it's worse and worse it, 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 It's a disaster. And I think he's going to be able to show a sharp difference, not only in national security, but on taxes, energy, social security, right. health care, sharp differences. And if he makes those sharp differences, he will win. And the one that I think is ignored is uh, free trade. And maybe the most important. Uh, well, free uh, erecting trade barriers yeah. is another way of raising taxes, right. raising your cost of living. And uh, the Democrats have fallen into that trap. And uh, John McCain, I think, can hit him on that. Right. Believe in the people, not the politicians. You, you, take us back to, you take us back to the fact that we're possibly in a recession. You go back to the Depression, a recession, raise taxes, raise tariffs. And what do you have? A Great, a great Depression. A disaster. Yeah. The tariffs of 1929, 1930 helped precipitate a global disaster. Then Herbert Hoover substantially increased the income tax, right. like Obama and Clinton want to do. And we had a real disaster that led to the Second World War. 
Again, we've been there before. These guys <laughs> well, may not. Some, sometimes we don't we, remember we, where we were. We're talking about education. We need remedial <laughs> education for Senators Obama and Clinton. they got a lot to learn. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So uh, when can a beleaguered American...